Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyro stem. And welcome back to the show. We've got you almost up to 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. You know, take the rest of the day off. Stay in bed, watch movies. Right. So, okay, you were going to tell me something I need to be watching again on Netflix. What have you been watching? So, one of the movies that has gotten much better, but it's the Quentin Tarantino movie set in mm -hmm. 1969. And I am not normally someone who can watch a three and a half hour movie. I loved it. Really? It's that Brad Pitt... And Brad Pitt was amazing. The whole thing was amazing. I just didn't like this, the scariness of the whole cult thing. Well, just it was very historical, so it, it, well, you they, just but, couldn't relax. It was like... But the ending was not how it happened. In, of course not. It, it was, went Tarantino full bore. It did, but... And then The Irishman on Netflix. Okay. And, you finally saw it? Yeah, Martin Scorsese, and he got the whole gang together again. Right. And one of their earlier movies is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's Casino. Now, warning, don't uh -huh. watch with your kids. You're going to hear a lot of foul language. There's some violence in there. A lot of drugs. Yeah, and it's kind of, they did a trilogy. They started with Goodfellas, mm -hmm. went to Casino, and now The Irishman. And what's fun to see is people who've worked together a lot Mm -hmm. get back on the horse and Joe Pesci is great in everything and he had been retired and they had to really bug him mm -hmm. to get him back on board. Did you watch the little special on Netflix where they actually talk about the making of it? And no I haven't. Oh, we should do that. <laughs> yeah go check that out. So I watched a show called Cheer and now this is something everyone at Sundance was saying everybody needs to watch but this if, as far as a docu-series with a really amazing message as far as being there and helping people accomplish their dreams. It's a really, really great one. I'd recommend checking out Cheer. That coach, she is just this phenomenal person who stands and helps these, you know, kids in, they're the best in the like world as far as cheer champions go. And they're in this small little town and they have people from everywhere come. And I mean, she just, she loves her kids. And a lot of them have um, issues with financial and came from abusive backgrounds. And that's, so it's almost like Hoosiers for cheer. Probably. You just don't realize how intense cheer is until you watch it. Well, that's another sport that they have a high incidence of accidents. Concussions, yeah. I mean, they're true. throwing these young ladies in, into the air. Really? Anytime you hit your head. My whole problem, I was suffering from a concussion for two years and I had gone to the emergency room three times. I had so many weird problems happening that I just thought I was losing it health wise. And what I'd really done is in two different instances as an adult human, like slipped and hit my head. But it was enough that... As an adult human? Well, meaning like, you know, when you're walking out of a Christmas party and you just slip and you hit your head, you're embarrassed. And you're like, oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Or when you're at like a, say, improv class in LA with a bunch of students and a really high-end coach, they're watching you and you slip and you hit your head. You sort of jump up and want to pretend like it didn't happen. But yeah, yeah. When you, any when you, bumps. Any when you bumps stub at your all. toe on the curb, it is embarrassing, and I always look to see if anyone's watching. Do you do the run? Oh, if yeah. You yeah that's, hey, uh, we have had a lot of fun. I think we're going to do this tomorrow morning. Probably, so you should come back. But have a wonderful day in the meantime. <laughs>